Hey there. I was asked by some of you to explain my health tracker, and I knew I needed one because I have been suffering a bad health since I was a baby. Nothing serious though. It's not like I have a chronic illness, but I have had enough health problems to put me through four major surgeries. So you can see why tracking my health was something that I definitely had to include in my bullet journal. So after researching several health trackers, I had to come up with my own. Interestingly enough, most trackers I saw were on general well-being, by like taking note of only sick days because it affected people's jobs. And even when there were some trackers for specialized illnesses, I could not find one I could relate to. So here is what I came up with. Since I don't have a daily struggle, I knew that a monthly spread would probably go on use for some months, but a yearly spread, that would give me an overall look into the months or seasons and the circumstances where I am more prone to feel or be sick. So I thought of graphics where the months are to the bottom right, and on the upper left I made a scale from 1 to 5. One means I felt awful. Two is it took me down for some days, three is I could handle it, four is I barely noticed, and five is I did not notice it. Here the only graphic that is different is the one on my weight. Instead of the 1 to 5 scale, I wrote down the weight fluctuations that I have had, just to keep track of it. Along those graphics, I added the most important things that I have to do in order to be healthier. For example, I know that wheat and dairy make me react bad when it comes to my allergies, so having a reminder right there keeps me conscious of it. I am sure you know or can imagine how difficult it is to avoid wheat and dairy. Sometimes I do cheat, but then I have to pay the consequences. Actually these lists of do's and don'ts when it comes to health have always been there in my agendas and planners. But seeing them along those health trackers will be, in my opinion, a greater incentive to fight the sweet temptations for my own sake. So as I go filling those graphics, I will be more able to take note of which months are worse, when to take particular precautions, and also if I am finally beating the problem. There always comes a time in life when you have to be mindful of your habits, because sometimes it is what we eat or the things we do or don't that make us feel worse. Awareness on this issue has been of primary concern to me and my hope is that these health trackers will be a huge aid in my future overall well-being. This coming year, I am aiming for those graphics to be steadily jumping at most from 3 to 5. I definitely know that every sacrifice or small step I take to finally see the graphics go up and up will be incredibly rewarding. After all, health comes first. Without it, we can't do much else. So if you suffer from different ailments like me, I hope you found this video helpful. We're never alone in the fight against illness, and the more things we can share to keep ourselves positive and firm in the fight, the more results we will have, and in a way, we can make the fight less stressful. For more bullet journal ideas and if you want to follow my journey, don't forget to subscribe and thanks a lot for watching.